We are talking about a skincare regime for somebody with an acne prone skin. The first product that we are going to recommend is the Refining Mousse Cleanser. This one is purifying, it is balancing to the excessive oil that can cause the breakout in the first instance. It's a uh, it leaves the skin feeling really very, very fresh when you use this one. So we use that morning and night. The next one we want to use is the uh, microbiome balancing mist. Sometimes the microbiome or the perfect balance of the microflora that sits on the surface of the skin for protection can get a little bit disrupted with an oilier skin type. And for somebody that has acne, also they may have been using something that is a little drying or stripping to the surface of the skin and that also can disrupt the perfect balance of the microbiome so we would recommend the microbiome balancing mist just to help restore the skin's uh, protective functions during the day we then would recommend the b serum this is really helpful for somebody with acne because it is anti-inflammatory so if there's any redness associated with the breakout even if there's any post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, the, the, the darkness or the redness that is left in the skin on the surface of the skin post breakout, this is really helpful in helping to even out that skin tone. It can also be used as the moisturizer. If your skin is the type of acne that's also associated with excess oil. Not all acne has ex excess oil or feels greasy on the skin surface, but if yours is the type where you're excessively oily, then the B serum on its own is a good serum as well as a moisturizer because it has a high content of hyaluronic acid in there as well as the B group vitamins. Um, Panthenol in here, D-panthenol is another type of B vitamin that is very healing and regenerating on the skin. So really great if you've had acne or experiencing it at the time, it, it's quite healing. If you feel like you need a moisturizer on top of the B serum, then we would recommend the daily moisturizer for combination skin. This one has some plant extracts in there that keep the skin really nice and matte during the day so you don't have that shiny, greasy sort of feeling if you've got the type of acne, again, that's associated with oil, but not all that acne is, of course. Then at night, we would cleanse, we would use the mist, now we've got a choice of things that we could use uh, for the serum at night. If you've never used a retinol before, then I would recommend that you start off with the A serum. This is uh, a retinol, but it's got a small dose of retinol in there, which just is um, enough to get the skin started on a retinol without having some of the unwanted side effects that can happen with retinol. Uh, when you first start using retinol, you can get a little bit um, red, some people do, or they might get a little bit flaky. So start off with this one, introduce it slowly, so maybe every second or third night, progressing until you can use it every night where your skin can tolerate it. That works quite well as a moisturizer on its own at nighttime. It is a serum, but it could be used as the nighttime moisturizer on somebody who is excessively oily but if if you're not really too oily uh, then you could apply the daily moisturizer combination over the top of that a serum on the other hand if you have used a retinol previously then thoroughly recommend this one the total repair dna serum this has got retinaldehyde, retinal, which is different to retinol. It's still a retinoid, so it's still part of that same family of uh, ingredients that increases cell turnover. And this is really important for somebody that has oil, that has breakout, because we want to keep the um, surface of the skin renewing all of the time so that the skin doesn't get congested, doesn't get blocked. 
and also it's so fantastic we found it, it's a new serum but we found that it's really good for people with post acne scarring and also the uh, hyper the post inflammatory hyperpigmentation that as I mentioned gets um, associated with with acne as well so even if you've used a vitamin A or a retinol in the past you still need to uh, introduce this slowly so every second night every third night and then eventually you want to be using it every single night and of course even if you have an oilier sort of skin um, you still want to use a sunscreen during the day 